I, I have a great story about McElhaney, uh, the body service and uh, the auto service here. 22 years ago, I was in my only accident. Okay. And I totaled the vehicle on Comanche Avenue. Okay. Um, I was 16, not paying any attention to what I was doing. Sure. And I rear-ended a lady. Okay. And uh, they brought her car here. Mm-hmm. And I knew that she was going to sue me and take everything I had. Um, there was hardly any damage to her car. Now, a lot of places may have said, oh, she's got frame problems. Oh, she's got this problem. Mm-hmm. And try to find a bunch of stuff. Sure. McElhaney's, the, I, mean, I wish I remembered the servicemen, but they, they went over the car over and over and over. It wouldn't start. Mm-hmm. It was her, was her problem. Sure. They went over it, went through it, all over the place. They figured out that it was a gas shutoff switch in the okay. bumper. Sure. They reset it, sent her on the way, didn't charge her anything. Well, didn't charge my insurance anything. Sure. And so that was uh, the beginning of my admiration to McElhaney, and that's 22 years ago. Sure. You know? and, but and, uh, uh, it, it sounds like it's, yeah, it sounds like it's still fresh in your mind. I know it, it can be jarring, you know, the, to have the accident, and then it's it's great to hear uh, your your kind words here, Chris, about how they, uh, you know, how we treated you at the time, and you know, at the end of the day. Um, you know, it's you're you're kind of judged by what you what you do when people aren't looking, and and that's the kind of thing that uh, you know we we really I it warms my heart to hear a little yeah. bit about and uh, to know that we're doing things the right way, the ethical way, um, you know, day in day out. Well, so, 22 years later, if anybody asks where to go, I still say I had great uh, service from McElhaney. You know, you go try them first. Perfect. Because uh, you know I was 16, I was scared to death. Sure. Uh, and. My dad made me come up to Mac, or actually, well, go up to, it was on the north end then, uh, to McElhaney, and with the lady, take sure. her up there, be a polite, and um, she had nothing wrong. My car was totaled. It was, right. it was gone. It's in the junkyard and long gone. Can, can I ask you what what uh, the details on your car again? I know you mentioned a little bit about it, but what... Uh, when I wrecked what, my vehicle? Yeah, which, which vehicle was that? I again? had a, uh, a 1980 Ford Mustang. Okay. And it was my 16th birthday present. We, we all make mistakes. Yes. Yeah, well. We all make mistakes. <laughs> I, I went from that. I, I've actually bought the second car from McElhaney off the used lot. Sure. So, no, I um, understand. But and I and I don't remember where my parents got the uh, the Mustang. But uh, she had a, a nice minivan, and uh, when when we got all done, she still had a nice minivan, and I had a, a can opener. You now know, was so. that was the music turned up a little too high at 16? I think that might have. <laughs> you know, I'm not. It's not. I'm not trying to interrogate you here, Chris. Yeah, but now like, you, you piqued my interest a little bit. <laughs> no, actually, here's I was uh, racing up Comanche Avenue. Right. Because everybody does. Sure. And this is before the the nice expansion they have now. And I was playing dashboard piano <laughs> to a song and was not paying any attention. I swerved from the right lane into the left lane, and the lady was stopped to turn into McDonald's. Okay. And I just that was plowed that. into her. Sure. And she had children in the car that weren't oh, wow. seat belted and all oh, kinds gosh. of stuff. But, um, again, the tow truck came mm-hmm. from McElhaney. They took it there. I took the lady there with my dad's car to make sure everything was good, good. and uh, everything went perfect. And like I said, they didn't charge us anything That's because great. it was minor, and uh, you know they just wanted to make sure we were okay. It's funny that you say that. You know they asked first, "Are you okay?" Because we told them it was a fresh accident. Right. They were just wondering what happened, and exactly. everybody was okay. Well, that's great. So uh, we we got out of it, and uh, this lady was fine. Her kids were fine, and. Uh, it left an impression. I mm-hmm. don't. Uh, I don't fly down Comanche Avenue anymore, and not, I not don't play like dashboard piano anymore. That's good. Well, it's you know we've, we've lost a good air air piano <laughs> player true. here, that's but true. you know it's probably in the best interest of the <laughs> citizens of Clinton. Yeah, so. yeah. I'm, I'm not uh, Liberace by any means uh, as I'm driving down the highway, but uh, no, it's personal experience. I can sure. uh, stand behind. Uh, what we talk about here too, and that's why I wanted to bring that up was just uh, I've been through it, and, absolutely, uh, and have experienced wonderful things. So mm-hmm. uh, not to make it sound like a commercial or you know a bad uh, insurance commercial or something, but right? It was a great experience 20, 22 years ago, and, and I'm sure it would be again today. Great, that's perfect. So we're we're about out of time. Uh, we've talked about a lot in this uh, last 15 minutes. Uh, again, 24-hour towing available at yep. McElhaney. Call the uh, the main number, 243-7000. That's right. And uh, they can take care of you 24 hours a day. So even if uh, it happens in the middle of the night on a weekend, don't be scared to call McElhaney. They'll be there in a matter of minutes to uh, help take care of you. And then the McElhaney's Abra's Auto Center, the, uh, the collision center, can take care of you here as well, no matter what make, what model. I think that about sums up everything, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it does. One thing, I, uh, I'm kind of looking over your shoulder here a little, Chris, at, at uh, you know, the storm raging outside. <laughs> I don't know what, what kind of level of hail we're going to get here, but uh, I, I, I wouldn't, I'd wouldn't. i be remiss if I didn't mention the, uh, do a little plug here for us, too. We do have paintless dent repair available. Um, I certainly hope everybody listening that nobody got uh, got peppered too badly, but uh, if you did, that's something we can help you out with here at, uh, at Abra as well. 
the, from the smallest dents and scratches to major collision repair. That's what you guys take care exactly. of. Exactly. Yep. The, and the entire and spectrum. Yep. Exactly. All right. Well, Drew, thank you very much, and uh, another successful Tuesday morning in the books for us. No, that's right. I'm going to kind of work on uh, work on my delivery here, and hopefully next week will be that much better. <laughs> Won't be long. We'll be doing ball games together and. Uh, Hitting it big on Fox. We'll yeah. take care of Joe Buck and Troy Aikman That's on right. the NFL That's season. That's right. You be the play-by-play. I might be the color guy. There you so. go. We'll, we'll, we'll make it work. Drew McElhaney, the director of the McElhaney Abra Collision Center here at McElhaney's on Lincoln Way. Whether you're looking for a new car, used car, maybe some work on your car, make sure one of the first calls you make is McElhaney's. They, uh, they take care of everything. They got you from the beginning to the very end. So come in and uh, say hi to the folks here at McElhaney and let them know you appreciate our McElhaney Minute here on AM 1390 KCLN. Join us again next Tuesday morning at 9.30. We'll have the show for you all over again. Or you can go to 1390kcln.com. Again, click on podcast, and you can listen to all of the previous shows that Drew and I have uh, been recording and bringing to you. So along with Drew McElhaney, I'm Chris Streets. This has been the McElhaney Minute on AM 1390 KCLN.